I get that there is some overlap between Christianity and Advaita. The Bible explicitly says I am is a name for God. But I also think they are distinctly different. Advaita doesn't believe in eternal individual souls, whereas Christianity does in union with God. Am I right in stating this? Yes. That is, um, though Christianity talks about individual uh, eternal souls, it also says souls are created. Whatever is created is not eternal because eternal doesn't mean everlasting. Eternal means what is beyond time. So the, the eternal souls that Christianity talks about, it is the idea that souls have been created by God and will exist forever. Forever means implies time. But uh, what is truly eternal is beyond time. A Dwaita doesn't a Dwaita doesn't believe, a Dwaita does not teach that there's an eternal individual soul. A Dwaita teaches that there's one jiva in whose view all these things appear, but that one jiva is not real. That one jiva is ego. And ego, it even, we can see even from our experience, ego is not eternal. Ego appears in waking a dream, it disappears in sleep. So how can that which ceases to exist in sleep and seems to exist only in waking a dream be eternal? Obviously, it's not eternal. It's a mere appearance. But in order to, uh, in order to know for ourselves that ego, which is what we now seem to be, is just an appearance, we need to investigate ourselves. We need to investigate who am I. If we investigate ourselves keenly enough, then we will see the eternal reality that underlies the appearance of this ego. That is, ego, as Bhagavan made clear, ego or soul, it's jiva, is that which is aware of itself as I am this body. Whereas the reality of this jiva is the pure awareness I am. So I am without adjuncts, without being conflated with anything other than itself, is the reality. The same I am, seemingly mixed and conflated with adjuncts, is what is called the ego or soul. But even when it's seemingly mixed, it is actually never mixed, it is ever pure. That is, the, the pure I am remains ever pure. It's only in the view of our self as ego, that I am seems to be mixed and conflated with adjuncts. So from the perspective of Brahman, the perspective of Atmasarupa, our self as we actually are, we are never aware of our self as I am this body. It's only in the view of ego that we're aware of our self as I am this body. So yes, this is a fundamental difference between um, Christian theology and Advaita. But this is a difference also between Advaita and most other, um, most other systems of Vedanta, that is, Vedanta has been interpreted in many different ways by many different schools of thought. Most of the other schools of thought uh, take jiva to be eternal, or if not most of them, many of them take it to, the jiva to be eternal, and the highest state for the jiva is to, to be eternally in service of God. That is the goal of most, um, most systems of Vedanta, and also other systems of thought like Shaiva Siddhanta and so many others. Uh, it's only in Advaita, but, um, but uh, it is uh, taught that the jiva is not actually real. Jiva is nothing other than Brahman in reality. Jiva Brahmaikya, the oneness of jiva and Brahman. When it is said jiva and Brahman are one, Tattvamasi, you are that, it doesn't mean that jiva as jiva is Brahman. Jiva bereft of its adjuncts is Brahman. Uh, Brahman seemingly mixed and conflated with uh, adjuncts is jiva. So in, as Bhagavan says very clearly in, um, in um, verse 24 of Upadesha Undia, Irkum ekal isa jiva gal oru porle arva. By existing nature, God and soul are just one substance. 
when he says one substance, he means in their ex in their existence, in their their their, their ex in their existing nature. What he refers to as existing nature is what he indicated in the previous verse: the oneness of uh, existence and awareness. That is what we actually are: is such it pure existence awareness. That is the one substance. And in in that one in that existing nature, we and God are one. What makes us seem to be different, as he says, is upadi unave veru. Only a adjunct awareness is different. That is what makes us seem to be different from God is that we have identified ourselves with a set of adjuncts as I am this body, I am this person. That's what separates us. But in our actual existence, as I am. We and God are one. So the reality of the soul is eternal. The reality of the soul is God. The reality of the soul is that pure I am. Uh, but as, as, a, as an individual, as a separate being, that what makes us seem separate from God is only our rising as ego and consequently take identifying ourselves with a set of adjuncts, namely this person we now take ourselves to be.